Hello YouTube, uh, today the purpose of this video is to show you how to install a recovery image on the LG uh, Thrill uh, 4G from AT&T also known as LG Optimus uh, 3D P920 people are having problem flashing the recovery image and that's because so far uh, ROM manager here uh, Clockwork Mod does not support, seems to be not uh, supporting the, the, the this phone yet that's why when we tap on flash clockwork mod recovery it only gives you the option to flash uh, the LGE uh, the LGE Optimus V which is not the right phone so I'm going to show you it's a very simple uh, step first your phone must be rooted if you don't know what root is or uh, or you don't know how to root this device then I have uh, I will provide the link below um, that way uh, you can search or also Google is a good source of finding information about how to do that and what it is and how it works um, second after you you get your phone rooted or if it is rooted already you're gonna need terminal emulator okay once you get terminal emulator you gotta download this file it's called recovery image just like that so you can place it on your desktop or you can do it directly from your phone for me it was easier doing it from my computer um, if you're doing it from your computer uh, what you're gonna do is just um, you're gonna connect your phone to the PC and you're gonna place it on the root of your SD card okay so you're gonna connect the phone You're going to scroll down, you're going to hit USB, and turn on USB storage. Okay. Now your computer will recognize. Now, this phone, uh, beware that this phone has uh, two memories. Uh, one of them will be the, uh, the internal memory, and the other one is going to be the SD card. You got to make sure you identify which one is, is which. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can zoom that a little right there. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. In my case, my uh, external SD card is the removable disk F. Okay. And I know that because on that, uh, on the SD cards where I have the download folder. So you got to make sure you identify um, exactly what um, memory is which. Okay. Once you have successfully identified that, now uh, what you're gonna do is we're gonna drag we're gonna you're gonna uh, put this again on the root of the SD card so you're gonna right click you're gonna hit send to and you're gonna put it on the removable disk F okay so let's go ahead and do that as you can see I have already done it before so I won't do it now so on your case once you do it you're done now you can go ahead and um, unplug your phone from here from the computer okay okay so what you're gonna do now is the following you're gonna go ahead and open terminal emulator okay so now um, you're gonna see it has a dollar sign and uh, once you see that right there you're gonna type SU but I'm gonna put the phone this way so you can see it right there you're gonna type SU and you're gonna hit enter now it's gonna super user is gonna ask you for missions uh, to allow this you're gonna hit allow okay and now uh, you're gonna start typing the rest of the if I can get the keyboard to function here There we go. Okay, so now you're gonna type the following. Starts with D D, then you're gonna put a space, I F, then you're gonna put an equal sign. Sorry guys, I'm not a very fast typer, nor the most accurate. Um, okay, so now we have type D D and then space I F equal, then we're gonna put a forward slash. Oops. 
now we're going to put it forward slash here okay perfect now we're going to uh, put dev div and the next one will be forward slash block I will also post this on the bottom of the description in case you, you can't see it clear enough on uh, there you go I think that's better okay so now we have type block and then goes another forward slash and then you're gonna go back to the main keyboard and MMC BLK then zero P six then you're gonna put another space then you're gonna write OF then another equal sign okay and now you're gonna put a forward slash SD card okay and you're gonna put another forward slash MMC and then you're gonna write BLK zero P six you're gonna put a dot back up and then you're gonna put um, uh, space BS and you're gonna put an equal sign and then 4096 4096 and then you can verify make sure you have written that correctly exactly as I uh, showed here sorry sorry about the focus guys I don't know if you can see that double verify make sure everything's correct it has to be exactly with the spaces and everything once you do that you hit enter now you're gonna see this message prompting on your screen if you get that that means you have successfully done that one correctly now we're gonna go to the second line and it's gonna start with DD space IF okay that's also gonna have an equal sign okay um, then we're gonna follow it with a forward slash then we're gonna type SD card forward slash recovery dot IMG uh, now this is critical here make sure you didn't rename the file that you downloaded leave it exactly as it was uh, it says recovery just leave it like that and place it on the root of USD card okay so you're gonna put a space after that and you're gonna write OF another equal sign and forward slash div dev sorry forward slash block forward slash mmc blk zero p six and you're gonna write a space bs the equal sign 4096 okay that's the second command again you want to make sure you verify it and that everything looks correct okay if it does you hit enter there we go you got that message similar to the first one okay if you get that that means you've done it correctly and now we're gonna put in the last line now here is where I found a mistake um, made by this forum I found but uh, successfully I changed it a little bit and it worked so this is where a lot of people are struggling okay so this is what you're gonna write it's gonna start with DD space IF it's gonna have an equal sign okay and then a forward slash, oops, forward slash, 
and then we're going to put in their SD card and then forward slash now here uh, from the description which I will provide you see it says underscore external SD we're not going to write that we're just going to jump it um, to the next one where it says recovery image so instead of writing that just skip that part and just put here recovery that IMG okay that's the way I'm doing it here and you're gonna put a space OF and you're gonna also put another equal sign okay you're gonna put another forward slash div dev sorry and forward slash block and forward slash mmc blk zero p six I'm gonna leave a space put bs equal sign okay and you're gonna put 4096 once more okay once again you may want to verify it make sure everything you've written is correct in my case everything looks good so let's hit enter and once you complete it um, you're just gonna see a pound sign a number sign and that means you successfully done it okay so now we can exit this right here now we're gonna turn off our device we're gonna make sure it worked so we're gonna power it off okay there we go the device has powered off now we're gonna press the 3D button on the side along with the minus volume button let me see if I can multitask here with my fingers okay so we have press the uh, 3D button volume down okay again 3D button volume down and power button at the same time until you see the LG screen popping up there we go now we let it go and if everything went correctly and you did everything as shown in the video here you should be able to have clockwork mod recovery and there we go okay there we have it clockwork mod recovery version 5.0.2.0 okay and the way it works is very simple this is uh, to go down is the minus uh, volume button to go up is the plus and to select which I'm going to reboot now is the power button okay um, let's go ahead and reboot there we go and that is it if you have any questions um, please let me know uh, comment below uh, let me know if you have any doubts any if it's not working um, well, I'm here to help and uh, thanks for watching uh, also I would like to mention that I was able to overclock this device to almost 1.2 gigahertz uh, from 1 gigahertz that it had is safe uh, battery consumption is basically still the same didn't affect the battery um, I have tried it now for about almost three weeks and it has worked so if you're interested uh, again please write in the comment box uh, if you would like a video about that um, once again thanks for watching and have a good one